hate it when people can be like that. I really do. Is that I feel like I feel like I'm on guard around here. <laughs> Cost thousands to do up one of these, I tell you. I, I, I actually feel like I actually feel like uh, one of the volunteers here right now, I really do. Right. Oh, wow, that one in the grill, flag on the grill. Pretty cool, isn't it? for his display, the first flying display of the afternoon. So Ooh. if you make your way to what we call the crowd line, that's the fence at the front of the arena, you'll get a good view of Chris and his display. And so it'll probably be the last helicopter lift before we commence. And uh, I'll keep you posted. He'll be starting very shortly. Also to announce the Spitfire will be coming to visit us this afternoon. We've got an approximate ETA of quarter past two. We're hoping to get the C-47 Dakota here at half past one as well. Yeah. I'm waiting for my fine display director to confirm that. Bear in mind, we have to keep an eye on the wind, to keep everything safe and so on. And then what was often described as the last aerial battle of World War II, the Piper Carbon, the Feastless Storch. It's a very interesting uh, commentary I've got when they get airborne, and I shall keep you availed of that a little bit later. But very, very historically interesting feature here at Combined Ops. Uh, the last battle between two iconic short field aircraft. That's at about three o'clock. So hopefully we're going to be enjoying Chris Jessen's display at the stop any minute now. Oh, my God. 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 O
size of. Awesome. Rebuilt by Chris from uh, Pilot Bits. Chris is a former aircraft engineer who started his career at Ross as a Croydon Airport in the 1960s. He worked his way up to the position of flight engineer on the Comet 4 aircraft with Dan Air. You may remember Dan Air, the venerable charter company based out of Gatwick and eventually swallowed up by what is now of course the corporation that is British Airways. Oh, well. Easy jet. He may oh, well. have flown on holiday.